How is the Twitter going to stop Elon Musk? Well, for the uninitiated, last week Elon Musk disclosed that he is the largest shareholder of the microblogging platform. The Tesla CEO bought 73.5 million shares or is 9.2 stack in Twitter and the Twitter share went into franchisee. And now Elon Musk went to a step further by offering to buy out 100% of Twitter for 43 billions, a 38% premier over the price one day before the announcement. In his offer letter to Twitter board, Musk said that this is the best and final offer and your shareholders will love it. Elon Musk's offer was welcomed by retail investors. Well, the Saudi Arabia prince who owns roughly 5% stack in the microblogging platform called the offer not close to instance value of Twitter and said being one of the largest shareholder of the Twitter, I reject this offer. The Twitter board met on Thursday to review Musk's proposal and see if it is the best interest of the company and its shareholders. Meeting Twitter's board is considering adopting a deficiency measure that would protect the company from the hostile takeover. There are plenty of defensive moves that a company can take in the state of hostile takeover. One that Twitter is considering is called a poison pill strategy. Suppose Twitter has a total 800 million shares out of which Musk has 73.5 million roughly 9.2 stacks. Next Twitter issues 200 million new shares at a massive discount say $20. Wednesday closing $45. This is discount share of are offered to all shareholders other than hostile shareholder Elon Musk. Now Twitter has 100 million shares and Elon's stack is reduced to 7.35% and Musk may now be able to boost of a 9.2 stack in Twitter. This is this will effectively reduce his save and power to all through this might take away Twitter CEO's control over the management adversely affect the company's market value. Please subscribe my channel and give me some support.